Good Thursday morning, everyone. Today's video starts off with some inspiration for you guys, directly from Clark Man, who came up with this idea last night to build something epic in our front room here. It's this Duplo Fort. This is just the beginning, though. He has an entire plan here so of I'm, things he's doing. I'm planning to make this front wall. That's what I'm working on. This is all the stuff I'm putting inside. Hello, check. Blanket checked. Chips checked. This is tear. George check. Nerf check. And that's the thing I'm working on. Okay, so you're gonna put all these things together and make something epic in this corner over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, and then I'm eventually, the, tonight I'm asleep in that corner. It's gonna be put in this corner. And then I'm gonna cut up on my blanket and sleep here. I'll wake up in the morning and then I can go over here and then I can talk to these people for this window. yoo <laughs> What's your motivation behind this? Why do you need a fort? Because I watched these people on YouTube, they have six kids, and they made this, they called kids two before four, it said no parents allowed, and then the parents tried to steal their fort, and they, then the kids are, try, and are trying to get it back, and then there's this Knobles one. It's so fun watching them. They're using bigger Tuplos than this. So, like gigantic ones. So you like got a this. lot more building to do then, eh? Yeah, I have a lot more building. That the one is even higher than me though. We got the plan all made up. The checklist is done. The pieces are back there. All that's left is to do it. But before we do this, we gotta go to school. Sadness falls upon Clark Man. Morning meeting and then students take the math test, the math folder, ELA lesson will be recorded and we'll have a foundations lesson at 1.30 and in individual meetings after that. Okay, that's cool. That gives us time to do all the stuff we wanna do today because we can work around that. Today, I already know. I think I got that one wrong. You got it right, actually. <gasps> what? Yeah. So three minus two equals one. You did it. You're done. You missed one question. Clark Man just finished his math class and we have this huge break now because of how the scheduling has worked out. So we're gonna run to town, get a little bit of groceries, stop at the post office. Before we do that, we gotta find Clark's drink. We're on a bit of a scavenger hunt here because he supposedly <laughs> brought it in here and had a drink. <laughs> Okay. Um, Nothing else happened to it. Whoever finds it first gets a million cuckoo kisses. The stakes are high, my friends. Ha ha! <laughs> yes! A deal is a deal. It's not to be. A deal is a deal. <laughs> million cuckoo kisses. <laughs> that's the drink. That's the right drink. This is the drink. <laughs> Give me my cuckoo kisses. Never do business with this guy. I'll take cuckoo kisses for my favorite child, right here. You gotta run in here real quick. I'm having lots of fun. <laughs> How many are there? Six. Six, and then we got some in here too. I was like, wow. Holy guacamole. Our bi-weekly mail trip. Lots of stuff. You wanna hear my idea? Well, we have to get groceries, as you know. But when we're done getting groceries, we still have well over two hours before you actually have to be back for your individual meeting with the teacher. And I know that there's a restaurant in town here that you enjoy, and I know that we have a gift card with some balance on it for that place. I've been trying to lose weight and I've been doing a good job at it. I'm down 4.2 pounds this month. I'm but really high too. Clark's trying to gain weight, I'm trying to lose. I'm but we have... This is our last Thursday together. Like after this, like Clark Man is going to school, so it's gonna be the end of it. So I thought, perfect timing here. Why don't we stop into this place and uh, use the rest of our gift card and enjoy it. Puppies, we'll come back for you. Okay, Clark, I'll be setting gears for you. With lunch settled, we arrive at Wise to get some groceries. And we're just gonna park out here. We could use the extra couple feet of walking to consume all those french fries and roast beef sandwiches and chicken nuggets and stuff. <laughs> Grocery list is minuscule, so this won't take long, but I'm sure we'll see some other things we wanna get there as we as we go through. Dude, the prospect of Arby's is really getting me excited. Yeah, it's getting hungry. Easter is coming. We just finished some produce and so far, so good with a healthy cart. 
Will it continue? Waiting on a text back from Cody to find out. He says muffins sound good. Okay, looks like we're getting muffins. Here's where things go bad really quickly. The blueberry muffins, they're so delicious. Clark man making the card even worse now. Having a party over here with the party mix. I saved you guys all the pain and misery of going to the grocery store. Here's our haul. $113? Scared the lady. Scared the lady. That's one of his goals that he goes in there for. Scare the cashier. But we're done. And now we get to do what we really want to do. Oh, man. Want chicken nuggets? We're gonna be really close on this card. I don't know what the balance is, but my total is twelve seventy, and I think there might be like twelve dollars left on this. So it might be like this perfect. We'll find out. So, no, forty cents. Forty cents. I think I have that. I have, there's forty five. So you can just keep the five cents if you guys okay. have something you could use it for. Is that perfect for a gift card? Yeah, we did it perfectly. We'll have to let Jenny know. Jenny is the one that did, did this for us. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It smells like amazingness in here. Let's just seal that smell in. Oh, Clark just died. It smelled so good, he died. It's a good thing we got here when we did. Look at all these cars, dude. Yeah, they're all stacked. They were like, oh, Greg and Clark are going to Arby's. Let's go, brother. Oh my God, I need ski masks so I don't smell all this glorious scent and die. Oh yeah, I know, I'm, I'm on death's doorstep too. I haven't eaten anything yet today. I've been really trying to watch what I'm eating. I, Kind of doing like the one meal a day thing today. We're a little exception on that, I guess. With in the body this. Sounds, that's what they say. Watch what you eat. Watch what you eat. Yeah. You are what you eat. So today we're gonna be roast beefs. The moment yeah. is here. The Dr. Pepper is really good. I just took a sip. I could drink about 15 Dr. Peppers. All right, what do we got here, clock man? French fries. Oh my gosh, the fries, the tendies. Mm, I just mm, realized my mm. shot is just like. Quite possibly the worst thing I've ever done in my life. So yummy. Delicious. And then there should be one of these, and which is uh, which is my roast beef. Napkin, napkin, and then RV sauce. Or that's your Bronco Berry. That's the sweet and sour. Which they only gave you one of those. That's a little cheap, if you ask me. For three of these, come on, bro. They give us two of these sauces. They're really cutting down on the the expenditures, it seems. Should we get a plate for you, sir? Mm-hmm. Might be a good idea. Can you pour the ketchup out? Can you do that? Mm-hmm. Let's see if Clark can do that. Hi, Dad. All right, guys, I'm doing my special recipe. Oh, look at the legend. Here's your plate. Oh, there, I put a French fry in there. Oh, no. There's a fr yummy French fry for me. Yum. You lived a short life, but a good life. Let me show you guys what this looks like. You've seen this before if you've been with us on our lunch reviews. Fast food Fridays and things like that. Here, bud, let me help. Watch. Let that all get to the bottom, and you just go like that. You gotta put some heat on it, some mustard. Anyways, we gonna eat here, Clarkman? Mm -hmm. You don't wanna watch us eat. Trust me, it's disgusting. We're gonna eat our stuff and then uh, proceed with our day. So we'll see you in a moment or a second. Literally a second. Eight hours later. We finished lunch and Clark has stuff all over his face, so I am recording this for one reason and that is because the last time I did this, his tooth fell out. So we're going to see if it happens this time. I got the shot lined up. Let's see what happens. Tooth gone. We don't really want that. Still in there? Let's get an update on this thing. Let's see how loose that thing is. Let me see. Ready? Oh my gosh, what is even holding that in? I think the gum turns. Your other one's coming in. Let me see that other spot in there. Stay real still, right there. I see your tooth coming in. Roxy is uh, decimating She's her decimating tooth. what was left on her plates. If that grosses you out, I'm sorry. We do have a dishwasher that sanitizes everything. There's always things that some people do that other people are like, ah, oh, that's disgusting. I'm sorry. There's plenty of things to get triggered about in this world. I don't know if that's necessarily one of them. Clark Man now watching his recorded lesson. He has to do a personal narrative again today. We have to tell who was there. We have to make sure that we tell what happened. We have to say where 
It was. And when. This is the pictures. So that's me with my Thomas bag. See the Thomas bag right there? Mm-hmm. And then that's the Subaru. Then there's the beach. It says beginning, middle, end. All right. So a personal narrative. One, it's very two, important three. to have those things. Yeah. So we have I, one summer day, I went to the beach. First, I packed my bag and I got in the car and 12 hours to get there mm -hmm. and we got got there okay. and I felt happy and I went down the slide. Okay, I like that. I feel like this is a good story. I'm gonna give you a couple of pointers though, okay? What? A couple of times here you use the word and, mm -hmm. like you use and a lot. You should try to separate those into sentences. So you could say, uh, I got in the car, 12 hours later we got there. But it's okay, you're just learning. And some of these words, you like you're doing a good job sounding them out like hours. That's how it sounds, but it's spelled really funny. Like it's it's not easy, but I think this is pretty good, especially for kindergarten. I think I'm I just, think you're doing a I good job. I just did my best. You did a good job, buddy. Clark man is done. I have to do some vacuuming upstairs to make the missus happy, to appease the missus gods. I'm gonna let Clark man do some vlogging here. Has been one hour later. Do you know how to do this? Yes. Just be real careful because that's a here. It's a little fragile. Here it is. Let's get building our massive fort. So let's put a block there, block there. It's gonna be higher than me actually. It's gonna be my height. So this is gonna take like probably like an hour to build, but I'm gonna try to have it finished before the missus is home. Don't mind me, I'm just over here pulling blocks off. Guys, this whole build is gonna need a whole tuple world. And when we finish the whole walls, guys, we're gonna put turrets. I think this is gonna be a shoe shaped window. <laughs> I think you guys are gonna get a really good laugh after this video. <laughs> I think I heard this. You did. I like that you recognize that you heard that. All right, let me see the whole sentence. Here it is. All right, look at your first letter. Whoopsie. What kind of letter buddy? Capital. Yeah, a capital. I always make a mistake. That's much Perfect. better. Perfect. That's better, Mr. M. All right, buddy. That's all we had to do today. You rocked it. I thought I was going to go on longer because I want to oh, do some more. Quick. Did you write your personal narrative yet? I haven't already drawn. Okay. I made the video. You made it already? Did you do your math test? Yep. Awesome. All right. You're good to go then. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, buddy? See you tomorrow. Bye, buddy. Hit the red button. Good job. I rocked out school today. You did such a good job. I'm proud of you. Uh, I'm, I just, I, I, I wish it went on longer so I can do some more problems, math problems. <laughs> I'm going to remember this, okay? Because there's going to be a day where you're in school and you are going to probably not be as excited as you are I'm these gonna days. I'm going to be like, teacher, can I do some more math problems, please? Who, who even says that? That's what most kids are like. They're like Roxy, where they're like, oh. I'm not sure what you guys have been doing the last second, but we've been being super productive. Clark and I, or basically Clark, just did a review on the two new Minecraft sets that he got. And now we're finishing our day off here, I suppose. Mom's gonna be home very soon. We're finishing off with uh, more building on the fort. I'm gonna be building up carrots too. I think it'd be great. Yeah, we're gonna try, let's try to build with all the blocks I have. Let's do this. Leave them on a cliffhanger. What you guys need to do 
is you need to come back here tomorrow for the Friday edition, last Friday ever of Remote Learning Kindergarten in the Adventures of Greg and Clark, where you see an update on this. And join us on our last adventurous Friday that we have together. And Monday. Forever. No, I'm just kidding. We'll be, I mean, he's, we're still doing stuff. It's just not going to be like every Friday, most likely. Although it might. We pick Clark up from school. You never know. Everybody's like, hey, Greg, don't do that. Don't leave us. We like your videos every day. At least like there's like six people out there that are like every day watching our vids. I appreciate you guys. So we have um, the hole here. So. All right. Yeah. Let's start building up till we reach the height so I can actually walk through the hole. Okay, Wait. you better get a lot done tonight because tomorrow when they tune in, mm -hmm. they're going to want to see something epic. All right, well, let's get to work, boy. Let's do it. Is this really happening? Yes. You're going to sleep behind this thing? Yes. And you got all your snacks and stuff in there? Yeah. Nerf, candy, your light, something to drink. Oh, it feels so relaxing. Are you kidding? Yeah. You're just going to sleep there? Yeah. Okay, well, if you get uncomfortable... You can come upstairs or go to the couch or something. Okay. <laughs> Camp time. Dude, no parents allowed. Wow. <laughs> How rude. So that's this it. looks really cool when I have this back here, though. Mm -hmm. You can, like, see through all the windows and stuff like that. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. This is my first night sleeping in it. So. Are you sure you're going to do this? Yes. All right. I'm a crazy camper, you know. I guess so. This will prep you for this summer when we go camping like crazy. <laughs> There's that blanket. Hey, comfy. We'll get this all comfy, comfy. stretched out. Okay. You're set, dude. Thank you. Enjoy your camping. Okay. I'll be up in my very comfortable bed. Okay. Good night. Good night.